There were a few really good answers to this very popular data science interview problem, and I just want to call out a couple of them. A common challenge that businesses have is whether or not to highlight high margin versus low margin products, or to maybe offer a coupon in which you're giving a discount. In these cases, you're all, you often have a trade-off between increasing the conversion rate but decreasing the amount of profit per order. And so the big question is, well, what is the overall profit per user? Which strategy maximizes profit per user? Is it the lower price, one with higher conversions, or the higher price with higher margin and profit per order? And if you're in an interview, one of the things to realize is that there are high power and low power variables. And profit per user, because it has such high variance, is actually a low power metric it'll take a real it could potentially take a really long time to get an experiment where you can get a reasonable statistical significance but a conversion rate is something that's a high power variable it's a low variance and so you can get a statistically significant result in a much shorter period of time or a more precise result in a less period of time so i like here that mario really explicitly called out the trade-off that profit per user would take a longer time to measure and if you look further in the comment, he called out that this is a really short season. We don't have three, four, five, six months to run an experiment. We have maybe a one month holiday season. And so depending on the length of time it takes to get a reasonable pre precision on profit per user, that would really influence our decision on which metric to focus on. And there's another comment in there that specifically calls out that they believe Best Buy would probably get enough sample size in a short period of time to even measure profit per user. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about that because that's a great answer um, in another video.